Hey guys, welcome to the bunker, also known as my office. Just wanted to give you a quick update as we're getting ready for Sunday and just give you a, a picture into a, a window into some of the things going on here as uh, we're planting Haven City Church in Baltimore City. Um, as many of you know, we've been here for over a year, getting to know the city, building relationships with people in the city, and uh, we've been meeting publicly on Sunday afternoons and evening um, down in Fells Point off Eastern Avenue. Um, this past Sunday, we had Vision Sunday talking about um, two major things that we see happening over this next year. One's our Sunday morning gathering that's going to be starting up uh, during the first quarter of this year. And then also talking about how we scatter across the city, our missional community groups, how we live as missionaries um, across the city. So um, it was a great time, um, really exciting. Uh, we also had a guy who happened to be there who I met on Friday named Albert, who shared his testimony. He was released from prison after 48 years, a convicted murderer. And um, after doing his time and um, behaving well, he was released and um, shared just a little bit of what it's like to, to re-enter the world. That was amazing. Also praying for people that are ill. Uh, a lot of people are sick, struggling with uh, cancer, um, brain tumors. Um, so that, that was pretty heavy. Um, you know, the one thing that stood out this past week is we were talking about um, just our gathering time on Sunday mornings of, of what we want it to look like. There is this passage that we looked at um, out of 1 Corinthians 14. And Paul in 1 Corinthians 14, he talks about doing church in an orderly way, in a way that builds up, and then how the spiritual gifts are to be exercised in the corporate gathering. But um, in verse 25... He talks about how the unbeliever comes into the gathering, and after hearing um, a prophetic word, um, a, a sermon that we'd say is right on point, that's, that's just given in the power of the Holy Spirit, that non-believer says, God is really among you. And so we were just talking about how that's our hope as we launch our Sunday morning services, is that people would come in and they would say, wow, God is really in uh, your midst. So that was fun. That was last Sunday. This Sunday, um, we're going to be back in looking in at the book of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 2, finishing up the childhood of John and Jesus. And um, the two things that are going to stand out from those passages is just the witness of the Holy Spirit pointing to Jesus. And then Mary has this interesting thing to say as she spends, she and Joseph spend three days looking for Jesus, 12-year-old um, Jesus, back in Jerusalem. She says, why are you doing this to me? And um, so oftentimes that's what we say to God is, God, why are you doing this to me? Why are you causing this anxiety in my life? And Jesus' response to Mary is the same response we get from the Lord is, hey, it's about the Father's business. It's about what God wants to do. So that's going to be great to look at that passage and allow God to speak to our hearts from Luke chapter uh, 2. And then also we have a special musical guest with us. Named, uh, his name is Nick Bastian. He's from Southern California. He's going to be checking out the city. And so it'll be great to have him with us. Hopefully you can uh, be there. I shared earlier today the Facebook event for Sunday night. So uh, you can RSVP there and you can share that out um, through social media if you'd like to help us invite other people to be a part of our Sunday evening gathering. And then, um, as you know, we have the Compassion Center, which is the outreach side of the church that we're running throughout the week. Um, I'll be there tomorrow from 10 to 3. Um, around 3 o'clock, we're giving away a bunch of food from Trader Joe's and um, all day just kind of reaching out to people. So you can be praying for uh, my time there and uh, just that God would be at work, um, spending lots of time with just different people um, in the community, um, people that a lot of people that are released from prison, um, that are looking to find work, people that have had crisis in their life that are trying to get back on their feet. And uh, so I'd appreciate your prayers for that time in the Compassion Center as well. So thanks for supporting what we're doing out here. Thank you for praying for us. If you want to pray, uh, be a part, prayer partner for the church, we actually have a page dedicated to that on uh, the church website. It's uh, baltimorechurch.com slash pray. And there you can um, commit to pray for one block um, in the area, southeast Baltimore um, area that we're trying to reach. Uh, we'd appreciate that. 
more uh, prayer partners we can have for this area, the better. All right, God bless you. Have a great week. Hope to see you on Sunday. Thanks.